Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Yo, 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 you know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man Angry Principal off camera. What's up? Got my man Bo in the building. I'll oh, say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Uh, speaking of 48205, we back in the city of Detroit. And today we're looking at Detroit City Distillery. Yep, that's what it is. This is the birthday bourbon, though, right? So this is like their anniversary bourbon. Um, and how many years was it? I, that part I forgot what this anniversary was. Ten years? Ten, I think. What it say on there? I don't even think it said. Do it say? Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't remember. It's probably ten because it hasn't been. They haven't been around. <laughs> yeah, they ain't been around that long. Yeah. Pretty sure. It's now what's dope about it too, though, is you see the colors and you see kind of the fonts and everything. Yeah, that's Detroit Pistons right there, dog. <laughs> back to back, dog. That's what that is. But uh, so we got we getting ready to give it a shot. They have like this big <laughs> festive celebration that uh, I was actually wasn't able to make it to, but Angry Principal picked up a couple of bottles for us. So you actually had a chance to taste this though, right? Yeah. Okay, see I haven't tasted it. Have you tasted it? Yet? I have not. All right, so uh, we're both going to be uh, new to this, but Angry Principal has had it. It, it mentioned something about, I think it said, uh, uh, oh, it didn't say. So what? just before we get into it though, is it different from any of the other expressions from Detroit Slightly, City? but I'm Slightly. not going to say anything. because Right, I'm yeah, I'm just saying. wondering. <laughs> What's in it? Because okay. I noticed it off the, off rip okay. the minute I had a taste of it. Gotcha. Compared to like with the, the butcher's cut you're talking? To, yeah. Compared to the butcher's cut or four the grain. Or four, four grain. Yeah. All of those. Okay. okay. So uh, it's As long as it don't taste like bloodline, we good. No, it's not bloodline. Bloodline's not bloodline. Sorry, fan. sorry Detroit. Yeah, yeah, I love y'all, but I wasn't a fan of that one. <laughs> not a fan of that one. Though. But as far as an event, that mm -hmm. was fun. Yeah. Because, you know, you know, I'm always going with my chair in my back. So I'm ready. So got there, got posted, and everybody just had a ball talking to each other yeah met a lot of cool people and they were just the the tastes were flowing yeah and they made it's sure all, it's always good on beyonce detroit yeah, City. yeah it's, it's always good energy down there yeah, so, yeah shout so, out to them all right, right. so we, we got a couple of bottles just wanted to show you guys the uh, the the unopened bottle so we'll put that down here and, and we'll all the wax on those right all the wax uh, so we'll break down the one that's already been peeled off and then we'll see what this cork sounds like I'm assuming that this cork is gonna be pretty good because it's been welded shut for so long. <laughs> Pause on the cork. Eh, uh, I not bad. It's not bad, yeah, but it's average. <laughs> right. I don't expect that shit to really be so though. Right. Say <laughs> <Saint> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it is Detroit right. Distillery. <laughs> All right, let me get some of that up. <laughs> Never mind. I won't say what's in there. <laughs> never mind. Uh, never mind. Yeah, refer back to last week's yeah, episode. Yeah, refer back to last week's episode. Uh -huh. And that's a oh, that's it is a synthetic cork. They should have used the wood cork for the uh, for the anniversary. Uh, and we were just talking about that, right? Right. right. Comparing the two, the sifter and the uh, glycerin. Oh, Let me see what we got here. Hmm. I don't know. That's like a your char is in char, there. Yeah. And I ain't even gonna lie. It's I smell too, licorice. It's it's I smell licorice, bro. I'm getting the honey <laughs> and I'm getting the chocolate on the on the nose. That's what that's what this is, is man. That honey. Those yeah. Are the things that I get on the nose. Okay. I definitely get the, the honey. honey. Yeah, honey, honey and char. I'm not smelling the choc the, the the chocolate, but uh definitely get that honey. Alright, let's get down to it. I like it. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. They did a good job with this. One. I get like a on the finish. I get like some kind of fruit sweetness, like mm -hmm. a like a red fruit type sweetness. I think almost like a, like a deep cherry or something. I think, on that, the finish. I think that's what I was. No. Uh, that's what I was thinking when I when I said licorice. Mm. I'm thinking that maybe that's the Twizzler, the Twizzler in my mind. <laughs> maybe maybe yeah, you, you actually seen the cherry, so I'm I'm feeling like it's like candy though. Like red candy sweet. I'm getting the honey on yeah. the taste. I get honey the chocolate on the end, yeah. but I'm getting the honey on the on the uh -huh. front. And it's real slight. It's, it's mm -hmm. good char though. I agree yeah. there. Yeah, I can't. I can't really taste the. I can tell there's some cocoa nut, uh, notes there. A little uh, bit. Yeah, little bit. but uh, it's, it's it pops out quickly for me. So. Uh -huh. Hmm. 
This is different from Apparently, auto. This is this is different. It's, you know what? It's, it's not as I don't think it's as it's definitely not as spicy as the butcher's cut. Nah. But like the butcher's cut almost has like a to me like kind of a like a cinnamon taste to it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, not like fireball. I'm not saying nothing like that. You know, nothing overwhelming. All right. But like with that 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 spicy and you know, like and this is kind of like more like like a like a caramel. You know, it's a type mm -hmm. like you know not so much the taste but like the texture. It feels texture, like you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I got you on that. You know? I like it though. I like it. So it, it, the the honey is surprising because I don't think that I've had a bourbon with that kind of taste profile, like with honey, that that wasn't like I've honey. had that honey jack before and it made me want to. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean, and yes, this, I agree there. And so when we is, say honey, yeah, nothing yeah. like mm -hmm. that. This is not that. Mm -hmm. Even though I, I have had my you know time or two with honey jack, you know what I'm saying <clears throat> I have had it. <laughs> And see, this with the cigar. Cigar evens it out perfectly. Yeah. Like perfectly. And this mine and Cristo. Okay, so I was wondering, but uh, yeah. I've, yeah. Doesn't I like help, it. Doesn't help, doesn't hurt it. It's mm -hmm. just good that it's they're together. Good that, yep. That's exactly. Good. Yep. Yeah. So I got mac and noodle. I say the same thing. Like peas and carrots and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do that shit go together? I don't know. Why Why does does you know it just does, does for some reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out to niggas eat their vegetables. Don't smell the king of spades. Niggas eat their vegetables, though. It, so this is another one that I don't I don't know if I have anything to compare it to. So and what uh what this is a hundred proof, right? Yeah, so that's a hundred proof. Um we gonna get into some some particulars in a minute. But what I do like about it, uh that is it's got the it's got a honey sweetness at the beginning. It kind of carries throughout. There's still a bite at the end, but like not too bitter or you know, not too peppery at the end. And that, of course, that works for me. And and, and and it's that bite, that hug at the end. It's it's got some duration to it. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, trying to think of the right word. I didn't gotcha. want to say long. And right. like <laughs> it's got some duration to it. You know, it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. Especially with the uh, with the cigar, I think it, it mm -hmm. helps out a little bit. Yep. So it does it, it does get a little uh, peppery at the end, but like not overpowering. Mm -hmm. So I, I do like it. This is good. And this is great for for an anniversary for real. I think this is a good celebration bourbon. Um, the only thing that I, I that I probably and it, this is just probably coming from all my previous experiences, I feel like I would have rather I would have rather had the caramel at the top as opposed to the honey. I think I just would have rather had that. But honey is is cool. It's not overpowering. Again, by no means is it overpowering like Jack Honey or like the uh, I think Jim Bean has one too. But nothing like that. So it's not overpowering. And see, this goes to say. Just, you know, proves what angry principles say all the time, you know, you drink what you like, how you like it, right? Mm -hmm. Because I almost prefer that honey sweetness at the beginning because the caramel will almost be too sweet for me, too sweet. you know, on okay. the nose, you know, at, you know, at you. Beginning, you know, right? So but that honey kind of, yeah, it yeah, just kind of so eases so in, so yeah, you know? You know what this tastes like to me? This is probably a weird analogy, but uh, with my green teas, like I don't use sugar in tea, I put honey in it, and like mm -hmm. this is kind of that faint accent mm -hmm. of honey that, that I like, so yeah, I function with it, though. Uh, so you guys got our preliminary analysis in. So of course we got to go to commercial break real quick and uh, freshen up our drinks, uh, tighten up my cigar, and hopefully uh, be accepting this food shortly. But <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the commercial break. But on the on the other side of the commercial break, of course we're going to give you our one to five Black Power Fist ratings. Now, so hang out for that. We'll be back in just a moment, man. You already know what it is: beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast, man. We'll be right back. I like this. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. And we're back. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is back in the building. Of course, the angry principal is off camera. My man Bo in the building. And it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. So let's get back into this Detroit City Distillery. What I didn't, uh, or what I forgot to mention uh, before the break, is the price point, right? So it's a hundred proof bourbon, uh, and it was uh, seventy dollars at the uh, at the actual event. I'm assuming that that price remained consistent. So for for seventy bucks, I guess I ask both of you guys, like for seventy bucks, what do you think? Like, is it is it worth the seventy? I think it is. I think yeah. it's solid, man. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Um, 
And then, you know, like we were just talking about off camera, you know, I think this is going to be my once in a, once in a while shelf, yeah, you know what I mean? For sure. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I would... I would definitely revisit it again. You know, yeah. I, I, to me, the butcher's cut is the number one mm -hmm. out of all their selections. Uh, but this is a number two for me, mm -hmm. for sure. It, oh, I definitely, think it, it beats yeah, out definitely. four. It beats out four grand. Yep. Yeah. And and definitely beats out. Yeah, yeah. Bloodline, <laughs> bloodline not even worth it. That, that, that wasn't oh, yeah. worth it. So again, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so for seventy bucks, yeah, I think I would because normally they're selling um, Detroit City stuff on online. Mm -hmm. You can purchase mm -hmm. everything. Fifty to five dollars mm -hmm. for your butcher's cut. Right. So, if you're dealing with that, then you go see a four grand. Yeah, everything is fifty five. Yeah. Homegrown rides fifty. So you know you have varying <laughs> price points, but for seventy, knowing that this is something that's totally different than the others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think seventy is a, a fair for price. Sure. And the thing, the thing that I that I really like about this, I drink this neat again. Yeah. You know, yeah. no ice, no water, yeah. no nothing. Straight neat, yep. Yeah, and there there is definitely some cocoa in there after smoking this oh, cigar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely I think it's a little something. bit more pronounced, yeah. I think the other thing about this, if, if you put it in, in, and I think if you if you let it breathe a little bit, <clears throat> right, you put it in some type of decanter or like, let it breathe, mm -hmm. I think that's just going to open up those flavors, man, make it even that much better, though, you know? That's the thing, too, for yeah. sure. So, Angry Prince, would always start with you. One to five, Black Power Fist rating. What you giving it? I'm giving it three and a half. Yeah, I, I really do enjoy it. Damn, this I didn't know the half was coming. Yeah, I, I give it three and a half. I, I'm sure. enjoying this one. Um, I'm going to crack it open more than I think I will. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be a kind of a go to. It's a, I'm not trying to drink the whole bottle. Mm -hmm. right now, cause I know this is a limited edition one that they put out. Right. But uh, yeah, I will taste yeah. this a little bit more than, than I normally would for something at 70. I was going to say, that's another thing too though, right? Just the the, the idea that it is a, a, a specialty. So like, you might not be able to get another one. So right. you kind of want to kill that shit just off mm -hmm. the rip of that. But uh, Bo, what you say dog? One to five. I like it, man. I really like it. I'm going to give it a four. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't, I, honestly, I wasn't expecting it because like, honey, yeah. I wasn't, I didn't think it would be like Jack Honey. Right. But still, I just guess I had that, that PTSD from, <laughs> from Honey Jack, you know what I mean? No, we ain't gonna keep shitting on Honey Jack. Honey man. Jack garbage, though. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's garbage. It's free, it's man. Bad, man. <laughs> but anyway, like, yeah, I really like it, man. Um, and like you said, I'm afraid to put this one on the shelf because I might drink it too might quickly, you know, and it's limited edition, so yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I give it a solid four. Yeah, this one going under the cabinet. <laughs> you got to hide it from yourself. You see it all the time. Right, you got to hide it from yourself, you're right. All right, so yeah, uh, on that same line, so I'm going I'm going with a 3.5. Uh, definitely, again, the, the honey is surprising. I, I, it's not overpowering at all. It's kind of uh -huh. like just just enough to make it necessary, like mm -hmm. if, if that makes sense. Uh, and then with the with the cigar, you can you can get those classic cocoa notes kind of in between, and the the finish is a, a nice a nice little slow burn, I guess we'll call it. Um, so it's a it's a good choice. Like honestly, shout out to Detroit City Distillery, always doing y'all thing, man. Other than the bloodlines, I, I don't know what happened there. I was I don't like it. Somebody likes it, obviously, because let's, let's focus on that good shit. Let's yeah, focus on that good shit, right? There you go. Stay positive. Yeah, right? <laughs> so this shit right here is the shit. And again, by being limited edition with the uh, gold wax, I think it's, it's a dope presentation. Oh, yeah. For sure. Um, but again, because it is kind of, uh, you might not be able to get another one. You might want to hide it from yourself because it is that good. If it's sitting out, you're going to drink it. So I think we're all in agreement here that this is a this is a go for sure. Oh, hell yeah. A hell of thumbs up. So we got two 3.5s and a four. Um, so yeah, we definitely suggest it. Of course, everybody's palate is different. So we do suggest that uh, you at least try to find it if there's any still available. Uh, make sure you check that out or add that to your collection. Uh, let us know. If you've had it, hit us up in the comments and let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. And again, don't forget to like, share, okay. and subscribe. I forgot to say that last week. <laughs> That's it, dog. We're about to finish up these drinks and keep it moving, dog. Until the next time, you already know what it is. The livest bourbon podcast on the planet. <laughs> Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beers. Bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man Angry Principal off camera. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man Bo in the building. Hey, real quick, y'all. Go check out Detroit City Distillery. They real good people down there. You know what I mean? They treat you like they, they treat my you family. like you want to be treated, man. Yeah, they will. They will. They'll treat you like family. They'll show you a good time. For sure. I'll say. For sure. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. First of the day, man. You know what it is. Peace out, y'all.